football and kind of staying on those wide receivers. Hey, Stephon, congratulations on the win. Yeah. Um, you know, there were some videos posted of you playing just catch just with fans before the game. Team, so um, just what was your uh, first experience with Bill's Mafia like outside of the airport atmosphere? First, thank you. Appreciate you. And, uh, it was fun, man. I had a lot of fun out there. Pre game, it was just so nice to oh, have guys back. Uh, I used to do it all the time. My whole team just played catch with fans. You know, it just, it just fits here. So I try to keep that tradition going. Uh, I'm a little rusty throwing the ball, so I got to get a little bit of that. What is it like just being a part of a team that, you know, won their first playoff game in 25 years? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. That's a hard question. I mean, I'm, I'm everybody's happy. We're more so hungry and we feel like we, uh, we can play some better football. So not really too much thinking about, uh, I don't know, anything else other than trying to be better. Hey, thanks, man. It was a good one. Hey, Stefan, Jordan with Bills.com. Um, those, those grabs Gabe Davis made uh, during that last drive, the first time, what, what do they say about uh, it? Was, it was, we knew it was going to be a full quarter ball, man. You know, uh, I, mean, I kind of talked about it a little bit earlier in this year that we had some young guys that could play that could step up and play some good football. So it was no surprise to me or any, or any of the guys on the team. Just because we've seen Gabe make catch, we've seen Gabe make plays. So seeing him make plays and for our team, it just shows you that we got some guys that can move out there. Thank you. Hey, Stefan, can you hear me all right? I got you, big guy. Uh, can you walk us through that touchdown catch uh, against TJ Carey? It, it didn't look like. I mean, I only oh, got one replay of it, but first glance, it didn't look like any double moves or, or you know, shakes at the line. It looks like you just ran right by him. Yeah, it was just like a, like a go. We just ran a go. They were playing all, zone all day for, for, I think we caught him on the snap of man right then and there. But his eyes were in the back of it, so put it too much up to his job, threw the ball up and tried to catch him on his points on the board. And I, I got in here a little bit late, so sorry if you've already been asked, but what was your first experience like, your first, you know, impression of playing in front of Bills fans? I had a lot of fun, especially pregame, playing catch with them. Um, and it was just something that we've been looking forward to for a long time, to, to have a part of the play this playoff. And it was a playoff we're trying to make. It's definitely special. we all excited about it. And I uh, look forward to trying to keep it going. And we haven't gotten you since. Just one more. You got your first – you already had your first Pro Bowl selection earlier this year. You were also named first team All Pro for the first time in your career. How does that feel, knowing you know the the doubt that you had, the doubt people had for you when you were first traded to the Bills? Um, for me, I try not to think too much about it. I'm definitely grateful and thankful just because you know I'm I'm not sure without my quarterback. My quarterback throwing me the ball, line protecting because they all on it. So I was like just trying to uh, do my job and earn it. And just things kind of iron out that way, especially for the people who uh, didn't believe in me or believe in me going to the Bills or. You know, a lot of people had opinions and stuff like that, but I try not to, I try not to feed too much into it because, I mean, anybody who knows football, you watch football. Uh, Josh Allen's a good quarterback. You know what I'm saying I'm, a, I'm, I'm an exceptional receiver. I'm halfway decent. I can, I can do my job. So for me, I'm just like, uh, I'm thankful to be where I am, and they're gonna keep hating. They're gonna find something new to hate about. Do you say you're halfway decent? Yeah. I think that's putting it mildly, man. But I appreciate Thanks. your time, man. Congrats on the win. Appreciate you. Hi, Stefan. Jay Skirsky with the Buffalo News. Uh, we we heard from you during the week. You said, don't believe what you hear. You're you're going to be able to go. Uh, and then, yeah, you know, Cole today said he, there was no doubt he was going to be able to play. But both of you guys are obviously dealing with some some stuff physically. For you, for you both to be able to go out there and contribute the way that you did, how good does that feel? And, you know, what – and maybe in, in Cole's – uh, case specifically, what's it say about his toughness to, to battle through what he battled through? He's a, I mean, I look at myself as one of the leaders on this team, but silently Cole's one of those leaders. Cole's one of those guys that step up at, you know, any given time he's been making plays all season. And he's been a, a guy that's been vocal with us. As far as like being an older guy, he's one of the older guys in the room. So as far as like, you know, expressing himself and letting us know that uh, we can take it one play at a time, just get open passes, let's party. You know, that's his thing. So uh, we just kind of take it, take that same approach. And he's one of those guys that leads by example. You know, even if he was battling injury, we're all battling injuries at the end of the season. And the guys to still go out there and make plays. He made a lot of plays that people, you know, might be brushed over or looked over, but not on this team. We know he plays a huge part in this team. You know, like Appreciate your time. Congratulations. No doubt. Thank you.
Steph Finesse, Mookie Hawkins, what for sports and eighty good win out there today. Thanks, Rick. I appreciate you. Um, in the in the, in the early stages of the game, how much uh, did the four the, the the poor field position um you yeah, know the the play calling in there in that first half? I, 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 uh, I mean, it's it's kind of tough calling plays backed up. You're just trying to get in a good position, and not make a mistake and get an easy turnover. So it uh, definitely started us behind the eight ball, but. Um, stuff that we're going to have to work through. It's not going to be our last time being in that position. So just finding a way to try to at least go 99 yards or at least get some of the backs to flip the field. That's all you're trying to do is back guys up so you can be in a better position. Your, your, your first experience with Bills Mafia, explain your emotions and um, how were they able to energize you guys in the game? I was already excited during the, uh, before the game just to see people in the stands because it's been so long and it's been – you know, we've been in the game for so long and it's been so quiet that you kind of got used to it being quiet. <laughs> but uh, pregame, you, you got a little bit of a, a crowd noise. And then when the game started, it kind of gave you a little bit of extra juice to get out there and, yeah, you know, get active. Saying, we'll the Absolutely, man. You live to fight game. another week. Good luck. Um, yeah, Thanks. Jason, so the Buffalo no, Congratulations. Uh, Thanks, we got I appreciate it. I got one. This is my last question. I got to go. Before uh, the game, you're, you're – Throwing the ball back and forth with some Bills fans, man. What inspired you to do that? And how cool was it to be able to interact with them like that? I've been doing it since I got in the league as far as, like, interacting with my fans, especially uh, just, you know, whatever team I'm on, I've been doing it. So going into my new team, I've heard nothing but good things about them. So I said, it's only right to keep the tradition going. And I wish there were some more kids out there, but uh, I only got some adults and I got to work on my arm. But it was definitely a hell of a time, and uh, I look forward to doing it again. I think I ask you about the, your vantage point of that Hail Mary at the end after what happened in Arizona to see them up and take care of business this time. Yeah, that was actually that was, that was excellent. Good coverage, good D. Um, we walk away with a win. That's how football goes. You're not going to play a perfect game. I'm good, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. All set. Thank you.